Hey everyone and welcome to 20 Questions. I'm joined by Joe Newton for this week. Um, thank you for joining me, Joe. No um, we'll jump straight into it. Yeah. So first question, what's your favourite holiday destination? Favourite holiday destination? I probably have to say Dominican Republic. Why is that? I, was, I went there a few um, years back. It's just, we're, we're my family. It's just the place. It's just, you get there, you just don't seem real. Like all the scenery and stuff. Like, nice. We went to like a some island, just like the sea was literally like crystal clear blue, just like you don't know about real, literally like real, it literally just looks like a straight out of a film or something like that. Wicked. And then, who is the funniest teammate you shared a dressing room with? Funniest teammate, ooh, tough one. There's been a lot. Probably have to say one of my teammates that um haven't and Waterlooville, Paul Rooney. Yeah, he's um cracking jokes. Yeah, he's funny. He's he's an Irish lad, so he's always cracking jokes. He's funny, proper funny guy. Yeah. Yeah, and then what sort of music can you into? And if so, who's your favourite musician or band? Um, I mainly go to like R and B, and then like house in like the summer. So when I go like beef or something, but um, I probably say my favourite artist would be Drake, just because it's about everything really. We do R and B house, it's just all sorts really. Yeah. So, yeah, I go, I go with Drake. Yeah. Nice. And then favourite meal. Let's not go for like you know it's Friday night before a game. You know it's a Saturday night. You've just won three nil. What are you having? <laughs> We'd have to go with pizza straight for a Domino's large yeah. pepperoni, garlic bread, chicken wings, yeah. all out. Yeah, say so, uh, so, nice. Yeah. And then we've had a few of these already. I think even last season. What's your favourite footballing memory? It's probably Wembley. Yeah, that's yeah. That's, I don't think that unless we go we go there again and get a, go the whole way. I don't think anything anything can top that really. Just the whole yeah. day really. The, the prep for it, obviously the game before Barnet, after the game there, just went in there and knowing you're going to Wembley for playoff final. Yeah. Like I just remember, remember just a few years back just watching them sort of games and then to play in it. Yeah, yeah. it's a great feeling. And what's it like as a footballer to live everyone's dream and play at Wembley, even the result didn't go our way, but yeah. just as an achievement yourself? To be fair, still like, think about it now, it's just like a shock really still because I've, it's Wembley and everyone everyone wants to play there and you don't actually f think you're going to play there especially from where I like played from really I played in the Sunday League which was about 15, 16 yeah. and then playing just in the non-leagues and obviously two years of COV 23s so it's fair at Wembley like if someone told me that two years ago I'd be like not a chance so. now you've done it twice eh? yeah, tw yeah twice in <laughs> yeah. one, one week yeah <laughs> Wow. Yeah. And then when you, you know, you're finished training for the week, you're at home watching TV. What's your favourite TV show? Favourite TV show? Well, right now I'm watching Love is Blind. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's just dramatic. So, yeah. I'll, yeah. Say, I'll, say, I'll say that right now. Yeah. <laughs> Wicked. And then who has the worst dress sense in the Solly or Moore's team? <laughs> Uh, well, There's a few debatable I'll ones. I'll say um, Jacob. Yeah, I'll say Jacob. He, think, he thinks he's got a bit, but um, yeah, I will just have to say him. Yeah, my up there, Jacob. Yeah, yeah. And then favorite drink, like you've got your sports drinks, you've got going out drinks. We'll go for a bit of both. Favorite drinks? Uh, I have to say probably just like a normal drink. I don't know, I'd probably have to say like apple juice or something like that. Yeah. And yeah. then going out or oh, probably have to say I do love a cocktail, so Yeah, yeah. Maybe some sort of cocktail. Passion fruit martini. Yeah, won't say no. Won't say no. <laughs> yeah. Won't say no for it. Wicked. And then who is the best player you've played against? Played against uh Karamoko from um I think he just signed for signed for Blues actually. Yeah. Birmingham. I played it played against him for Cov. Played uh England under seventeens or something. Yeah. When um just like a, a friendly game, I think they had like a tournament or something. And, yeah. I mean uh, I came up against him, he was on my, my side. Tricky winger? Yeah, he's just then he was rapid, like small, but like yeah. he blink and he's gone. 
like the open was a joke. So I can't see him, yeah. Blimey. Right, and then what are some of your match day rituals? Are you like a sock boot kind of guy, boot, so- boot sock? Um, to be fair, I haven't got many. I'll probably say I'll just have the same same meal, which is I'll just have egg, avocado, and then some porridge Yeah. if I'm at home. Obviously, it's a bit different when we're away in the hotels, but I'll probably say that's probably one of probably go the most and then in terms of when we get to the ground I probably really don't have any really yeah. I'm not sort of like I put one sock on and then put the other one at the same like I put left to them right I don't do that I just go with whatever yeah. I'm feeling in the moment really nice and then you know this is back to your younger days when you first started playing football mm. what were your first pair of football boots first pair of football boots were these ombre ones yeah They're like these blue ombre ones Metal studs with like the tongue. Yeah, uh, yeah. I still, I still have one out actually. Somewhere at home, so I see them. Nice. Always good feelings. Yeah. Yeah. And then, what's your morning routine before training? And obviously, um, you know, you stay with uh, some of the lads. You just, you know, what do you do? So, Coffee. Um, nah. So I have a shower. Always, I wake up around half seven. Have a shower. Uh, do your teeth and all that, all the bits you need to, and then go downstairs. I have my um, my breakfast there at yep. the house, just so I know that I can have it, all, all the stuff I want. Yeah, there's it's the same what I has what I have on a pretty much meal for a game. I just have egg, avocados, and porridge really. Yeah, yeah. So nice. And that. then favorite Premier League player, just at this current point in time. What playing right now? Yeah, yeah. Favorite Premier League player. Ooh. It's a tough one. I'd probably say Saka, to be fair. Yeah. That's what Arsenal say. Nice. Watching them and then seeing them just do yeah. it. That's a pretty same to be fair. So I think the next question will be Arsenal kind of you might sway that. Greatest player of all time? Or ever? Ever. Oh, Messi. Yeah? Yeah, it's got to be Messi. I was a big, like, Ronaldo like fan saying he's yeah. the best, but I think it was after the, after the World Cup. Um... When they won it, well, I properly like watched it. Like yeah. watched him because obviously in the league that he was in, I did, didn't really watch too much of it. Only when he was yeah. in the Champions League, so I probably yeah. Then I watched that, and then I watched all of his games. And I thought like the stuff he does is just like no one yeah. can do it. So I have to say, I have to say, uh, in the uh, Messi. Nice. And then obviously Arsenal fan. Was that the first football kit you ever wore? Uh, no. Nah, I think my dad put me in a a Watford one. Yeah. He, uh, he's a a Watford fan. Um, I think he might have um, done that, or probably England one. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'd probably say one of them two, to be fair. Cool. And then a bit away from football now, obviously still staying in sport. Who's your favourite sporting icon? Favourite sporting icon? I have to say, can it be football? Sporting icon. Uh, favourite sporting icon? Probably just say, probably, probably a bit basic, but like LeBron James, or yeah. Like that. Just the way like he's still playing there now. Yeah, yeah. Still playing at playing at the, uh, the top of his game. So yeah, probably has to say him. Yeah. Sweet. And then this one is, I think, a lot of footballers might struggle to pick against, especially as a defender. It might change your sort of view. Would you rather rather a last minute winner, a jammy one nil away win from home, or two one? Or a comfortable win, three 0 away from home, and a clean sheet. To so ask score the last minute winner. Yeah, we'll go for that. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent that. Yeah, that, every other I don't score too much. When I score, I get a bit too excited. <laughs> we all remember Barnet away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could have thought I scored a last minute winner doing that one, but um, yeah, if it was to be one of them, it has to be a last. Last yeah. minute goal, yeah, you can't beat that feeling. I'll say it's we're scoring scoring a goal with like a last minute one, probably one yeah. of the best feelings. Yeah. That I can help, so yeah. And then this one again making you sort of pick between the both. Goal line clearance mm. or just scoring a goal. Because you know Clark he loves a goal line clearance. I think he had twelve or something ridiculous last season. Just scoring a goal. Yeah. Yeah, nothing beats scoring a goal, I don't think yeah. anyway. It's that a feeling goal. when the ball just hits yeah. the back of the net, just, yeah. It's, yeah, it's a great feeling. Yeah. Nice. And then we're into the final two. If you weren't a footballer, what would you be? <laughs> Go on. Um, would I be? So I got I got asked this earlier with one of the boys. I just said probably might have gone into like 
construction or plumbing or something like that because yeah. I like college and then probably my mum my mum if I weren't doing football she would have tried to force me into doing <laughs> one, one of them yeah like plumbing or something so um I'd probably say that to you there yeah I'd probably say that yeah and then last of all what's something you like to do on your bucket list oh I just want to travel to a bunch of countries there's a, a lot of countries that I want to go to Tanzania that's one yeah. of them so, like, I always see that online it's a giant so I always say go to like, a country like that really nice brilliant thanks for joining me for 20 questions Joe no and best of luck tomorrow thank you see you later